moment of distress Composed themselves enough to artfully carve so so in this desk They was probably thinking, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you And they had him with a hellbound arm and an acidity wash Homemade purple with thousand o'clock in the pot Tapped to his friend and drunk like a badge of mystique that would technically suck Taking the name of the father and bringing him away to the blood in his locker was strange A switch he lifted from a sibling skip and drawer who branched off in the ninja stars and never knew a shoot was shot Hi guys, cell phone's here Sorry, just admiring my new my new custom Hoback. Sorry. So I don't have much for you today, but some pimpage is better than no pimpage at all. And uh, let me know if you think this is my color, guys. I mean, I think it, it really uh, just matches my shade. I'm kidding. So anyway, so I got one redo and one pimp job, and then, uh, you know, today I was basically fixing some things and this and that, which can take the entire day. So, first up, you guys saw this one a while ago. Uh, it was a uh, tremor. And, uh, yeah, I would have sent it back to the guy, but I'm not happy with it. So, what I did was I basically put a backspacer on here. Uh, kind of like a scattered... You know, just random areas of the pattern of the uh, the tighter cuts on there. That's pretty nice. In uh, earth brown instead of just nothing. And then uh, I went ahead and did a really crazy etch job on the blade there. And dude, if you're watching this, man, I know you, you waited a while for this one. Uh, you know, it just it's tough to do the um, the uh, assist on this one. It's really odd looking. And it's still not, I mean, I gotta basically redo the one side. I'm just not happy with it, but I'm gonna have that done by Monday, so. But I mean, it opens nice and everything. It's just, it just doesn't whip open. But, you know, if you don't like this uh, finish on the blade, I'll gladly give you mine. Uh, mine's brand new, so you can just swap them back. Uh, I just wanna see, just do this as a favor, just for being patient. And uh, it's pretty damn sweet. Call this the anonymous bed sheets pattern. I'm joking. It's gross. <laughs> it's really cool though. The uh, it raises in certain areas, like little pebble, like little uh, spots. So it kind of you can hear the detent ball kind of just like kind of rub against those. It's kind of cool actually. So yeah, this one's a bit more uh, complete, and uh, it's probably one of my top priorities to get this one completely finished and done and out on Monday, along with a Spyderco Junior and uh, Emerson. Looking good. So next up, one of my favorite Kershaws ever. Um, this is my first like first knife I was like in love with. Uh, you know, besides like a ridiculous custom or something. Um, the Kershaw Pack Rat, just kind of a amazing knife. I had one in black. I had one in uh, in orange. A sprint Run one. But uh, I currently don't have one that's, you know, in one piece. But uh, this guy uh, had a great idea for this, so, you know, I pushed it a little further. So I uh, got the dark stone wash blade. Which looks nice. And uh, you can see the logos and stuff did not come off. They just kind of pressed in. They're hard to see. But it's, like I said before, it's darker than it usually is. And like you see here, reptilian pattern. Uh, toxic green. Heavily sandblasted. And uh, yeah, the dude who owns this said expressed some concerns about the texturing being like too grippy on the pocket. Guys, this the textures I do are not nearly as aggressive as they look. I mean, they look crazy, but it's just the lighting hitting it, making them look real deep. But really, there's like, they're barely, you know, it's barely even noticeable. I mean, it's just enough to create some traction, but not enough to uh, rip your pants up. Also, did the dark stone wash to the pocket clip. As you can see, it whips open nicely. And also replace the backspacer with carbon fiber. The 
It's some weird carbon fiber with like some layering in it, but it's real neat. It's nice and beveled. Not too aggressive, but definitely enough to grab the palm. And uh, great in the reverse grip. I like this one a lot. Yeah, so this one, I got a new tool since I since I did this one. It allows me to do some really tight, small milling, and that one requires that, and I didn't have it before. But now that I have it, you can see this one is just uh, more than perfect. So awesome. Well, guys, just a quick one. Alright guys, have a good day. Peace.